Welcome everybody, this is Alex from The Consultants and today we'll talk about how to build a roadmap or timeline slide in PowerPoint. Depending on the level of detail you want to show, there are different slides you can use. I'm going to walk you through each of them within this video. If you want to use them right away, you'll find the download link in the video description. Just a quick note for all you Windows users out there. I am working on a Mac, so some shortcuts or menu items may be different from your Windows version of PowerPoint. If you encounter problems with any actions on your machine, just drop us a line in the comments and we'll be happy to assist you. If you're new to PowerPoint, make sure to watch our video on PowerPoint basics. Okay, so let's get down to business. We're going to start with two slides you can use to present a high-level timeline. This is a timeline you can use for a quick overview on things that happened in the past or are going to happen in the future, along with one or two additional pieces of information. So let me show you how to build a slide from scratch. We'll start with a horizontal line representing our timeline. Hold shift while drawing the line to make sure you are drawing a straight line. We need to increase its thickness to make it stand out a little bit more. Now we're going to build up a single step of our roadmap. To do this, we'll start with a squared box along with a headline and some text. We're going to center everything, increase the font size of the headline and make it bold. Below that, we'll add a black arrow to connect it to the timeline. Below the arrow, we'll add a circle marking its spot on the timeline. Make sure your box and your arrow have the same width. Also make sure that your box, your arrow and your circle are aligned. Now let's group the section and move it all the way to the left so we can add additional steps. Now that we have our first step above the timeline, we'll duplicate it in order to create our second step below the timeline. Let's move it down and rotate it by 180 degrees to get the result we're looking for. Doesn't look too bad, right? With a bit of alignment, we can move it to the right place. Now we just need to fix the text. In order to do that, we'll ungroup our selection. Now we're able to rotate just the squared box by 180 degrees again. Et voila, quite easy, right? Now let's group these forms again so we can use them as a template for our steps below the timeline. Now that both templates are ready, we can reuse them in any way we want. Let's pretend we have five steps we want to show. So let's create three steps above the timeline and two below. Just use Command plus D or copy paste to duplicate them. Now we just have to align them the right way to make it look good. First, we'll fix the vertical alignment above and below the timeline. Now, we're going to distribute them horizontally by selecting all steps and applying the distribution command. There we go. If you want to make one step stand out, you can color code it differently than the other steps. Let's just use a black background and a white text to do this. That's it. Our timeline is finished. Don't forget to include a punchy action title in order to sum up the message of your timeline. See our video on action titles for more information. Let's move on to the second timeline. As before, the timeline serves as a quick overview without too much detail. So let's get to work. We'll start with a simple horizontal square. Let's give it some gray color. Above it, we can put the year the step is going to represent. Make sure both boxes have the same width. Now let's add a headline and some detail on the things we want to present to our audience. As before, make sure your box has the same width as the two other boxes. Now let's align them on the left side and group them as a template for our next steps. Now that we have our first step, we'll duplicate it in order to create as many steps as we need. Let's pretend we need to show four steps, so let's create three additional copies, either by duplicating or by copy-pasting. Now let's distribute our four elements evenly on our slide. Take the last one and put it on the upper right side. Take the first one and put it on the lower left side. Now apply a horizontal as well as a vertical distribution. There we go. As before, you can color code an element in order to make it stand out. 
Just use a different color for the horizontal square. That's it, our timeline is finished. As before, don't forget to include an action title for summing up the message of your timeline. Now let's look at how to build a timeline with more detail. With this timeline, you can add additional information for each step you want to show. This can be used for roadmaps, but also to outline project phases, for example. So let's build it up. We'll start off with a horizontal arrow. Above, we'll add a box containing a number and the placeholder for our headline. Make sure both boxes have the same height. Below, we'll add a text box with bullet points for detailed information. Make sure your text box and your arrow have the same width. Also make sure your text box, your arrow and the box on top are aligned to the left. Now that our first step is finished, let's group it and duplicate it as often as we need. Let's say we have three steps we want to show. As you can see, there's too much space left on the right side. We now can either distribute them evenly like this, or we hit redo and use the space we have for our content. To do that, we will group everything and increase the overall width. That's it. As before, don't forget to include an action title for summing up the message of your timeline. You can also include images or icons for each step. To do this, we can move our text boxes down a little to make room for our images. When inserting images, make sure to use the same width as the arrows. Hold Shift to resize an image while keeping its proportions. Use the crop function if the height of the image is too big. For a final check, make sure all images have the same width and height and are aligned vertically. There you go, four ways to create a roadmap or timeline in PowerPoint. Quick and easy. If you want to download the PowerPoint templates, just follow the link in our video description. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you want to receive more tips on how to improve your PowerPoint skills. It will help us a lot.